Welcome back, 7 Days to Die modding fans. This is Zith. And today I want to finish up the uh, zombie female that we made in the last video and show you the XML that is uh, required for that to work in the game. Uh, I have created an entry here called Zombie Female Tutorial. And as you can see, it uses and extends. It extends from the uh, Zombie Nurse template, which is right above it. And that one extends from Zombie Nurse, which is the vanilla nurse in there. So extends do work in entities. Almost everything will extend without problem except for tags. So you have to put a very specific tagline in for each of your entities. The next is the avatar controller we're using is Avatar Zombie 01 controller. Again, that will extend from the previous one, so you wouldn't have to put that line in. You do need to put in where to find the mesh, and the mesh would be in the uh, resource folder of the mod that you put this character in. In this case, I saved it out of Unity as zombie test female .unity 3D, and the particular character name, as you saw in that um, um, example, was zombie test female underscore X. So that will correctly call the character into the game. Uh, generally, you want to give it a hand. This is the default zombie hand, melee hand zombie 01 that every basic zombie uses. I just put it there for clarity. Uh, it is important to set root motion to true. These characters use root motion just like the vanilla characters do. The generation 2 did not use root motion. For your um, information, root motion basically is the animation, the walk animations actually move. Um, and it's not just the game moving the um, character around. In the case of Generation 2, root motion was set to false, and the game had to do all the work. And here we're letting the uh, animations move the character to a great degree. It's also important to have ragdoll equals true. We put it, you saw we put a ragdoll on it, so we want that to work. When you collide with it, we want it to ragdoll, so that has to be set to true. Physics body. Um, that's a, a new concept to most of you. Um, vanilla characters have a physics body XML file. I will show you that really quickly. I did one here. It's called Mixamo Converted Standard Zombie. What this does is gives you the mapping between the tags that you put on the bones and the path to the ragdoll components. And so here we have a body tag on the hips and left leg was we tagged, left upper legs and so on. And it has various ragdoll parameters that you can adjust. These are all default from Vanilla and they work fine, so I recommend you leave them alone uh, at this point until you know uh, exactly what they do. Um, the flags you will always leave at collision and ragdoll. So in the um, creature pack uh, zombies, there is a file called physicsbody.xml that has this in it already for you. There are other ones in there. I made one here for if you made a character using the Make Human character generator. I also built that for you in advance as well. You would just reference this name. Like right here, we say physics body is, and then you put the one that has the correct bone mapping. Death animation is true. That could be true or false. It's going to ragdoll on death, uh, so you don't necessarily have to have this true. You can play with it. Some people turn it off um, because they just like the ragdoll for the death. Um, I generally uh, leave it on. Walk type, it, it's always could be any walk type you want, as you know. Um, one is the, the cop kind of walk type, and seven is the most human one. Um, in the other, if you're making humans, um, it's important to use walk type 7 because all of the humanoid controllers that I'll eventually release out there will all be based on walk type 7. So if you wanted to walk like a human, uh, you'd use that for the humans. But for zombies, they can use any one you want. So put whatever number you're in there. And the last thing is the mass. Remember when we built the ragdoll, we put the number 150 in there at the bottom of the ragdoll wizard, um, showing what that mass was. Well, you want this to match that. And that basically tells it you know, how much resistance to provide when it is um, being collided with. And that's it. That will get the uh, zombie in the game. And I hope you learned something new today. And I look forward to talking to you at the next video.